no limitations. Last week, I wrote about how I had changed my major and declared myself undecided. I talked about the pressure I felt while making this decision, and today I want to elaborate more on that pressure. I think that in our lives, we face daily pressure, and a lot of that pressure comes from popular opinion, which is society. In a way, I feel like we have been brainwashed to think that if we disagree or are opposed to the popular opinion, then we're wrong or doing something bad. This isn't always the case. Popular opinion doesn't and shouldn't define your decisions. Act on your God-given moral conduct. Let me explain this in terms of my life. In choosing nursing as a career, I thought it was an incredible way to help people and an immense power I had to heal and give hope. I figured I don't have control over so many things in my life, and in this profession I can at least do a little more for others. The knowledge I would acquire is immeasurable and truly beautiful. It is a blessing to serve others, and I know it is my calling. Therefore, I thought I could serve people in the medical field. Also, nurses being in high demand meant I could later in life provide my family with a steady lifestyle, which is really more than I could ask for. There is nothing wrong with what I thought nursing would be like for me. However, there came a point when others' opinions were the reason I was holding on, and that was wrong. Nursing is a really, really great career in many aspects, but many people really focus on the income of it. For example, when you tell someone, my major is nursing, you'll, typ you'll typically hear someone with a response that acknowledges how difficult the education is and then how good the pay will be. I was astounded that I could carry the ability to drastically change someone's life in such a way that it gave me goosebumps. However, after a while, I couldn't just think about that. It turned into, yes, I love helping people, plus I'll get good pay. Leaving income aside, people still generally admire nurses quite a bit. I've never in my life heard someone speak badly about the profession. Therefore, I ended up getting caught up in the greatness of the nursing career that I didn't stop to ask myself if this was where I really needed to be. Sometimes where you need to be isn't the preferred place or the most favored, and that is okay. But I need to tell you to not get caught up in people's voices. You have your own. I didn't have the intention of getting carried away in people's motivation, but somehow I did. So be aware. The interesting part is that it isn't necessarily bad, but it's important that we do what is needed, not what is popular. There will be decisions that you and I need to make that people might not agree with. Honestly, they might look down on you or see you as inferior because of it, but you can't care. If it's something that you've discussed with God and you know that it's what you have to do, then do it. No holding back. No limitations. You get low pay, so what? Do it. You do the things no one wants to do, do it anyway. People laugh, people judge, you're underappreciated. God sees you, God loves you, and God will provide. In our world today, there are so many people talking and not enough listening. Drown them out. Listen to God's voice and follow it. You will be blessed, and that is a promise. Don't let the pressure of the world overcome you. No limitations. You have the power to change the world. What do you need to do in order to hear your own voice? So let's stop condemning each other. Decide instead to live in such a way that you will not cause another believer to stumble and fall. Romans 14, 13.